Hello and welcome to a new Google Forms video in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to start a new series of videos focused on Google Forms, on very basic things to do in Google Forms that I know a lot of you love to use it. And today I'm going to show you how to connect Google Forms with Google Sheets, several ways of doing it, how to connect them, what are the pros, the cons, and how to do it correctly, and maybe some options that you didn't know you had. But before we begin, I want to invite you to subscribe to the Patreon channel where you can download the template of these and more than 100 videos in the channel and you can ask me any question you may have about these projects. Or alternatively and easier, you may subscribe to the YouTube channel where you'll have one new video each week. And I need to thank all my Patreons because their support is phenomenal and they motivate me to continue doing this. So let's begin. Google Forms is a really, really cool application because it's very easy to use. It has a lot of limitations. And if some of you are looking to do more complex stuff, maybe the best way to go about it is to do a web app, an HTML web app. But it requires a lot of technical knowledge. And Google Forms, I like it because it is very easy but still with a little bit of code and playing with the options, you can push it a lot. Not 100% flexible, but there are a lot of things we can do just using Google Forms and Google Sheets. And then if you go a bit further using Google Apps Script, well, there are a lot more possibilities, okay? If you want, we can do an intro video in Forms, but what I prefer to do, in like in many of my practical videos, is showing you how to do specific things. So. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect with Google Sheets and it's pretty, pretty easy. So we're going to create a form. Let's call it uh, sign up. So there are two things in Google Forms. The title of the form, this is what the user is going to see when they fill out the form and the title of the file. When he, you can see that when I click it and I already have written the, the title of the form, it puts the same title because many, many times the title or the file will be the same title of the form. There are two different things. So if I go to preview here, this is the title that the user is going to see. Okay. So let's say that for sign up form, we're going to use an email. There is a better way of using an email, but we're going to see this in a separate video. We're going to do email and then name. That's it for now. Then we'll can dig deeper in further videos on the type of questions and all that. You can tell me in the comments, what do you want me to focus on on the next Google Forms video? So let's do one. I'm going to refresh this. So I have my two questions and I'm going to put an email and I'm going to put a name and I'm going to submit it. And where do I see my responses? Here I have three tabs in my Google Forms version 2023. So I have the questions, I have the responses, and I have some settings that we're going to play with them in the next videos. In the responses, I can see in three ways. I can see a summary of the responses, question by question. I can go question by question and see how many people has answered this question in this way or in this other way. And in individual, I can see each form individually and I can go one by one. I can print it, I can delete a specific question, a specific form, and finally I can select if I want to accept or reject responses. Maybe I don't want to delete a form, but just say that there are no responses for now and then I can activate it later. It's nice that the responses are stored here, but there must be a way where we can store the responses in a more convenient way. And this way is called link to sheets. So there are a couple of ways where I can link the responses of this form to a spreadsheet where I can easily and more conveniently summarize, do reports, do additional calculated fields and much, much more. Okay. So it's just as easy as clicking this link to sheets. And here Google will create a new spreadsheet for me. I can give it the title I want by default. It puts the same title of my form and in parentheses, it will put responses. I don't like this. Just sign up form is okay. Or alternatively, I could go to a spreadsheet I already own. This is another way. 
but normally we're going to create a new spreadsheet. Let's hit create. And it goes automatically to this new one. And here you can see that it will collect the responses in a table much more easily for me to then do something with the data. So let's do another one just to show you an example. Let's do jj at g.com and here will be jj. Submit. So first, it will bring me all the past answers or the history of the answers up until the moment I connected. And then after that, every time I have a new answer, immediately it will send the answer to the Google Sheets. So this is really, really cool because it dynamically is updating itself. Okay, so this is the way to connect. But there are two more ways to connect. One is very, very similar. First, I can tell you that you can disconnect it. You can just say on leak form. And now, if you go to the sheets, well, I forgot to show you one thing, is that maybe you saw it, that these form responses had a little icon, a little purple icon, just like the icon of the forms. This means, this is an indicator that this sheet is connected to a Google form. Now that I unlinked it, now I cannot see this icon. And now if I refresh my signup form, now I can see link to sheets again because now it's unlinked. Okay. If I send a new one, then I don't see anything here because I unlinked it. Okay. So there's another way of linking it. Just we go to these three dots and I say select destination for responses. And it's basically the same menu as before. But now I'm going to select an existing spreadsheet. I'm going to select this same sign up form that I already had. So I don't create unnecessary sheets. I'll hit select. And then here it has my recent file. So I can select this sign up form. I say select. So the only backfire of this method is that it has to create a new sheet. So before I had this form responses one, I unlinked it. And when I linked it again, now I had this form responses two, where again, it brings the history. And from now on, when I put new answers or where I receive new answers to my form, let's do another one. Now I will receive it here. Okay. Now you can see the icon I was telling you about you can change the name of this form very easily of this sheet we can call these answers or whatever you like okay so now we've seen two methods of linking and one method of unlinking so let's see another method to unlink and this is directly from my google sheets so i'm here in my sheets i have to stand wherever i have my link that is this answer sheet let's give a bit more zoom and then I'll go to tools. I go to manage form because right now sheets knows that I have a form connected. So it's as easy as saying on link form. I'll unlink it. And now you can see that the icon is gone. And here, when it is linked, we can see this option change to viewing sheets because I can go and see the current sheet. But if I refresh this page, now I don't see the viewing sheets, but the link to sheets, because now it doesn't have a sheet linked to it. Okay. So finally, we're going to see a third way of linking the form. And this is again in tools. You can see that now I don't have this other menu that I had before because there is no form linked to my file. So I'm going to hit create a new form. The bad thing about this method is that there is no way from sheets to link to an, to an existing form. There should be, but there is not. There's only creating a form. So now it's creating a new form. I'm going to call this sign up form V2. And again, I could say here email. And instead of name, we're going to put company just to separate, to differentiate. Okay. Email and company. And here, now you can see again, my classic icon of Google Forms. Again, we can call this whatever you like, companies. And you can unlink it again with these tools. We're going to quickly see these, what are these tools for? 
So we already seen create a new form and we already seen on link form. So if I hit, I'm going to close all of the other things we have here. And let's go to tools, manage form. I'm going to hit edit form. Edit forms goes basically to the form. So I could edit my questions or edit or see the responses, uh, change the links or change the settings that we haven't seen yet. If I go to tools, manage form, and go to live form, it goes to an example so I can feel very easily the form. So this is the form to edit and this is the form to send, okay? Like when I hit here, preview, it's the same. Now let's go to tools, manage form and send form. Send form is very similar to go to live form, but it goes to a box where I can send an email to someone. So here, I can send the form by email to one or many people. Tools. So if you see and all of these options, you can do it from the form. So it's just like a shortcut menu to go to quickly go to some of the options that Google form has. The other embed form in a web page, again, is very similar to sending the form, but it's a, a box that gives me an HTML that I could paste very easily to a web page. Finally, the one we're missing is called show summary of responses. That is nothing more than going directly to the tab responses. So basically, this is just, again, like a shortcut menu. Maybe it's not that necessary to have all of these. I use a lot this edit form and this go to live form. But the other ones, maybe the only form is useful. But the rest, not so much because it's very easy to go directly from forms. It's just skipping a step. Okay. One last thing I want to show you before I go, and is that you can have, and I think you already saw it, you can have many forms linked to one soul sheet. So for example, here I have companies, but I could go to these answers and create another form that's going to be linked with answers. No, actually not with answers, with a new sheet. So here, or directly from companies. I can go to tools and create a new form. When I hit create a new form, it will create a new sheet. It always creates a new sheet and it creates a new form and I can go here to my new form created. So if I created companies, then maybe this will be called products. And then I can create a new one. Here, this is called companies. Now this will be called products. And then I'm going to one called sales. So tools, we create a new form, new form created. We're going to questions just to change this to sales. And we're going to call also call this sales. And that's it. And again, if you want to unlink it, you, we already saw two ways of unlink it here from tools, manage form, unlink form, or you go to your form, go to responses, and here in the three dots, you just say unlink form. That's it. Okay. So this is what I wanted to, to show you today. And the last thing is that if you unlink, and you already saw it, that if you unlink one of these forms, the responses will remain here and you can do something with them, whatever you want. Okay. So that is it. I hope you liked it. Again, this is a very introductory video to Google Forms, but I hope it is useful for someone. And then if you like it, we can do some other similar videos exploring some of the less known characteristics of Google Forms. See you next time. Before I go, I have to close as I opened, thanking all my Patreons because this is not possible without them and inviting you to subscribe to the channel or be a Patreon yourself. Thank you so much and see you next time.